Alrighty, it's Daryl back again, DFishman76. Uh, this is a hive that's been doing really, really well. So I throwed a honey super on top of it, which is that right there. If you'll notice the size difference between this high, this uh, high body and that one. Uh, some people call them honey supers, some call them mediums. Just depends on who you're talking to. But uh, I thought that honey super on there, thinking that they would fill it up with honey. Last time I checked, they hadn't even touched it. So let's go in here and see if they've messed with that or not. And uh, just see the help of this hive. See if we need to give them some... You wouldn't think we'd need to give them any room, but sometimes honeybees can be a little funny. So let's get in here and see what we got. I'm trying to cover the camera up. That way the wind's not so bad on it. They still have not touched the top box at all. As you can see, there's nothing going on in there at all. Normally when I uh, when I add a box to a hive, I always put a, another frame in it. I move a frame from the bottom, put it in the top box, and take a frame from the top box and put it in the bottom box, normally on the outside. But that just encourages them to move up. And that's what this is right here. Now what we got on here is just straight up nectar. And nectar is what honey is before they cap it. So I've got a lot of nectar in this thing here. And on this side is honey. The white stuff is honey and the bottom stuff is nectar. You never want to lay your frames down on the ground if you can help it. And it's around the same thing on this one. Nectar and honey. With a little bit of brood. For some unknown reason they had skipped this frame when starting to draw another one out and there's a, a faux queen cell with nothing in it so I'm gonna knock it off. We've got eggs and larvae, as you can see, hopefully. Same thing on that side. Crazy bee. Then we got brood. That's real, real dark brood. Got nectar across the top. And this small brood on that side. And then eggs and larvae. 
So this the hive's doing good. We'll look at one more frame right quick. They're starting to be a little hissy. Anytime you ever get stung, if you put a little bit of smoke on it, that keeps them from following up on it. We got eggs and larvae on this frame. She's filling it back up, so they're good. I'm not worried about this hive now that I've seen we got plenty of resources for them and all that good stuff so there's no reason for me to go any further into this hive because we know we have a laying queen we know they've got resources and we know they're not honey bound So there we go on that hive. Uh, this hive here, we've got eggs, we've got larvae, so we know we got a queen and she's laying. They're not honey bound, which honey bound means that they've got nowhere else to lay. And uh, when a hive gets honey bound, you have to take frames of honey out and put in frames where they can actually <coughs> draw it back out and uh, that way they don't swarm. Normally when a hive swarms it's because they've uh, run out of room and they'll make queen cells and then they'll swarm on that. That's the reason why hives swarm. So there's an update on that one. It's doing good. Uh, part of the reasons why they ain't moved up to the honey super is because they're still drawing out that middle box. So there we go. We might have put that on there a little too early. Got a little overzealous. Uh, so there's the update on that one. This one's doing good. So, uh, there you go. You don't have to tear a hive all the way apart just to uh, check to see how it's doing. Uh, sometimes when you do that, the longer you're in the hive and the more you do to that hive, the more the bees have to fix once they, uh, once you get through messing with it. Now, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of bee activity right now, but that might be because the foragers are out running around trying to get in resources to bring them back in but uh there we go so hope y'all enjoyed the video if you got any questions leave them in the comments below and as always we'll see y'all on the next one